Ooh. Okay, so we went fishing the last two days. So yesterday was terrible. So anything from that footage is all, I just, yeah, it just kept raining and stuff and I had to keep putting the camera up. No bites, a little bites maybe, but today was better. Um, got a good bass, stay tuned for that. And also, um, caught a couple panfish and she got she got one or two on her own i don't know but you'll see so stay tuned watch it enjoy it and go well i caught a nice big one well to me it's big this was on that new rod i got from john you want to eat them why do you want to eat them maddie Let's see what the weight of this bad boy is. Oh, that's an OZ's. Let's get that in pounds. Four five nine. Hopefully you see that. That's a four pound point five nine. That's over four and a half, a little bit. That's nice. Woo! On my new rod. Look at that mouse. Thank you, John. I actually had to hand line it up and I didn't even have my uh I don't even know how to do this release because it's I'm up on a an embankment that's like four or five feet, so I gotta kinda lob them off. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that chunk. Whew. Okay. And this is a flooded creek. There's your send. Nice splash. Make sure nothing bellies up and comes back up. Then I'd feel real bad. But I caught them. And I had nowhere to, nowhere to take them. You like that fish, Matty? He was over four pounds. Yeah. Like and subscribe on the video. video. Alright, baby. Good job. All right, hopefully you get me in this. Hold on. Okay, so just now I caught a bass that was four, five, nine. Um, and the hardest part is I'm using 10 pound mono. Supposedly, when you're hoisting a fish out of water, uh, it's supposed to triple the weight, so that would put it up to over 12. And I was able to hand line it. I kept wrapping it around my arm as I brought it up this. This is a super high drop. Um, I would say that's a good five feet before you even touch the water, maybe higher, uh, even though it's flooded. Um, but yeah, I was able to hand line them all the way up. Probably took about a minute and a half. And then I found a puddle over there to uh, help them recover in a little bit before I drop them in. Okay, and she says something about pooping and peeing. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna get back to it. Okay, well, I caught a nice fish without recording, so let's see what happens with recording. I'm just throwing it right down in this little spot. I'm hoping, I'm really, being way up here, I don't I don't want it to be another four and a half pounder because that was, um, that was tense. Uh, basically, I let him hook himself. And then, I kind of sat there, oh, look at that snake, Matty. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that snake out there? Right there. Oh, no, I can't. That's why we don't play in the water. I'm going to get a picture with my phone if I can. He's probably going home. You know I'm going to try the spot for a second, right? Because there's that. Well, because I didn't have this lure on here when I was over here. There's a, a little island of weeds that I'm trying to cast us into. This is where the, the, there's a break in the, this running water. There's good spots all along here. It's just there's, a lot of them are unreachable. Okay, one more. 
Well, that is two fish that, sh that I've got one, she's got one, and I did not have it recording. Madison, wow, let me see the size of that. She's using worm. Let me see this little pan fish. We don't have no baby hooks, so I'm using a tiny jig head with worm. I cannot believe you did that. I was about to tell you, is your bobber going under? And, uh, wow, so that's two fish we've got without the camera being on. Yeah. That is my fault. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you! You're gonna get it. This one's bigger than, uh, the, the other fish. I did a, I did a test cast. I got one. You got one? Oh, yeah. Do you want to get a picture with it? Let me. Okay, Maddie did it all by herself. Just set it down. Just set it down. I'll, I'll pick it up. Okay. Can you get your finger in its mouth? Can you get your finger in there? Hold it. Pinch it. Get it in there and pinch it. No, pinch it. Can you pinch it? Like that? There you go. Perfect. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold it up with both hands. Smile. Good job. Uh, you want me to record you throwing him back in? It's okay. It's okay. Let's grab him by the mouth. You want to grab him both hands? Okay. Good throw! Madison. Bumps. Yeah. I just wanted to get some filming of you. Are you watching the bobber? Yes. It's floating. Hey, hold no. Let it let it stop right there. It's floating about where it was when that one got it. Oh, see it see it moving? Wait until it goes under and then uh, reel it up. I know I did a good job on the worm, so okay. Uh, start reeling it. Go ahead and reel it because it's too close. Okay, I right, got your worm. Ah. I'm having a bad day for getting to record, ain't I? Okay, well your bobber's in. Nothing's hitting it. Just leave it. Just leave it. What's that shooting? Oh, that's. I don't know if I'm not hitting the button hard enough. Hey, where's my bobber going over there? Oh. Oh, how did it go that far down? I just now threw it out. No, leave your bobber right there. It's right there. It's it's, it's perfect. Uh, running I'm, away. I don't know if something took it or what. Oh, what is it? My legs. Oh, we'll just throw this one to the side. Yeah. What, uh... What uh? You're so smart. What uh? What is this? Hold on up. Oh, that's cool. You made a little. Uh, I was gonna make something up. I don't know. And uh, I, I stopped the bass fishing. Well, I I can still bass fish, but really, I switched to my panfish rod I guess you'd call it um, that's what I'm gonna call it my panfish rod and uh, I'm watching my bobber float I put a ton of night crawler on it so hopefully just the smell I mean I can literally see the jig the yellow jig head for like crappie and I took the fake little minnow off because when I thought about, I caught a bunch of worms at uh, at home after or during a, a rainstorm. Really, it's during a thunderstorm. Me and my three-year-old son Grayson went out and caught them, and um, I decided, well, I'll take them out today. I was going to take him out, but she was home not feeling well. And then after her mom leaves, let's go fish. I think she played hooky to go fish. Makes me proud. Yes, it does. Really, I just think she likes getting dirty, as you can tell. Huh? You like getting dirty? Yeah. So she, I guess she says she wants to fish, but 
starting to see a little ploy. But, you know, hey, you tell me you want to go fish just so you can come out here and get dirty to trick me? Trick me. Instead of fishing, I, I thought I'd just feed them. What it feels like I'm doing, feeding them. Oh no, it's wrapped around the pole. Pull up. Oh, oh, got him, finally. Woohoo! Look, I caught a personal best. Yay! Just kidding. It's not my PB. Good throw. Matty did it again. Didn't have to lose the bait. Let's see if you want to take over because they're finally hitting. And I lowered the bobber, so all you got to do is. Lift it up. Oh, yeah. What is that? Good job.